Sneakling is back again. Yeah, back again, yeah. Back on track, baby. Today we have the full release version of Manjaro 0.8.7. Yeah, it's now released. It's not a preview anymore. No, it's not a beta. It's a ready to roll one. I don't know any problems with it at all, actually. Really nice to use. A little bit meatier than the last couple of Manjaros, but they seem to have streamed some stuff out so it wasn't as bloaty as it was. I don't know what they've done, but all they've done is worked. Okay. So this one is the XFCE version, which I tend to like, as you all know. Very nice. That's what it says. Installation took around about 10 to 15 minutes, if that. Just a breeze. There's a graphical installer. There is a command line one, but you don't really need to use that. It's all graphical now for you. Ease. So if you're in a bit of arch, but you can't be bothered to do the arch way, this is a good way of doing it. So anyway, a quickie, looky, randy thingy. Okay. Okay. So we're down to menu, down here. As you can see, we'll go to Accessories, okay, Application Finder, Archive Manager, a Bulk Renamer, lovely Catfish, Galculator, HP Device Manager for your printers and scanners and copiers and stuff, Sensor View, so I'm going to check out some Sensor Views, I'm not sure if I've got any actually set up actually, no I haven't, no actually I've been stupid, silly me, why would I think that, okay. Next dish, should we go back to accessories? Yeah, we go a bit further. The task manager is here as well, I'll open it up for you, because there's no conky on this one. No, no conky, no man. No, just a bit of a button. Alright, okay. Yeah, so it's all doing stuff there. Yes, I'm using a bit of CPU, but remember I'm recording at the same time, and this is the dual, old dual core machine, so it's hunky dory. Does what it says. Oh yeah, does what it says. Under development, you get all the QT stuff and open JDK policy toolkit. Under games, you get Steam as standard. Now remember, if you're going to use Steam, make sure you've got all the latest drivers for your graphic -y card and all the hunky-dory. Yeah, yeah well, honestly. Under graphics, you get Gimpage, Vue Noir and a Document Viewer. So I'll open up Gimpage just to show you what's going down. As you can see, it's all working rather nice. Actual fact, it works actually faster than Zorin, I will say. I've just done a Zorin video. And I haven't put the uh, proprietary drivers in. And so it wasn't particularly brilliant, but hey, I'm going to put the video up anyway. Because it'll do what it says. So there you go. Hold your version, but that's what it says. Okay. See you later. Anyway, so under internet, you get Avahi and Havahi, Firefox as your default browser, and you get Hexchat for your chatty stuff. Okay. Hmm. Bit different from Xchat. Okay, okay. Pigeon for internet messaging. Steam as I said before, and Chunderbird for doing Chundy stuff. Blah. And the multimedia, as you can see, I've installed a GTK record my desktop because that's why I'm using to record this one for you. As it's not on the box, this is a full install, as I said before. Audio mixer, QT V4L2 utility test, okay, VLC for VLC stuff, XF burn for burning your disc. It does what it says on the tin, it's really quite good for it, does, it just does it, doesn't argue about it. And for your music, you get X noise. Now, the first one I found X noise, I wasn't too you know happy about X noise, I thought. Yeah, it's not for me really, no. But it actually in, in use it's quite good actually. It's not too bad in use. If you like rhythm box and other stuff and Clementine like I do, maybe it's not for you. But for this sort of system, it's rather good. Yes, I think it is, yes, very good indeed. Anyway, moving on we'll go to Office, okay? Under Office you get some of the LibreOffice suite, a dictionary, orage, and orage got the time. Then you get your settings centre. Oh, blimey, you could be here all bleeding day, okay? You can configure basically anything you want to here, as much as you want to, or as least as you want to. Yeah, I know. And the system. Go to one more time. So the before here. It's all here. Oh, get new, like, the Manjaro Welcome Utility. I'll show you this one. I'll just show you. Now, when you first boot into Live CD or your system, this is what you'll get. It tells you about all the new stuff you're using. As you can see, it's 0.8.7. And so this is a 32-bit version, actually. I should have got the 64, really. Build Manjaro, get involved, donations. If you want to get involved, go and get involved. Do you some good, baby. Do you some good. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I like it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get to the internet, okay? And we'll go to Firefox. And we'll just open up the browser for you, just to see what we're doing. And then we'll go straight to the Manjaro page, apart from this one. This one up to date? Yeah, it's up to date. I actually didn't see what, what version is it. Let's have a look. About Firefox. 23.0.1, so nice and current, okay? Is this where you want to get it from? You want to get it from here. So you go to Get Manjaro, lovely, super. So we click on Get Manjaro, in theory, it should take us to here. So you can get 64 and 32 bit XFC and open box. Then there's a minimal net edition, you can just build your own. Then there's all the community editions. Now there's quite a few of these, and I have done quite a few videos on these, okay? E17 one wasn't my favourite, okay? Wasn't my favourite. LXD one on the other hand. Very, very good indeed. Well, I liked it. 
yeah, I liked it. Now, all your codecs are installed out of the box here, so that's nice and hunky dory. I could, I could go to the Bebeka, but I'm not going to. We'll just go to we'll go to the news on Google Show. Everything renders okay, everything comes up nice as it should be. Nice, lovely, super. Now, I'm a lover of Menjar anyway, although I don't use it all the time, okay? I've got other stuff to do, if you know what I mean. But if you want an art system and you're not a, like, a screencast or anything like that, this will be very, very good for whatever system you've got, really. And if you use the LXD version and you've got an older machine, it'll make it rock, baby. Rock. Rock me, baby. No, just, just rock me. Yeah. So, yeah. Manjaro. Latest release. I like it. Nicey, nicey. 90%. Sneaky Linux gang out. I'll see you later. Bye, bye.